Hey there, this is Emily Stamets and we are looking at Daggett Shawl. This is the body stitch pickups and I'm gonna show you the slip method first, which is where we're using one long set of needles. You can see that I've turned my miter corner here. I have a nice little right angle um, and now I'm ready to start working across the right edge all the way up the body. Now my shawl is a little, it's a little mini shawl that's just for uh, samples. Um, so here we go. And I'm not doing any of the shaping on this right edge again, because this is just a sample. So you will have bobbles and increases and decreases, but I am just going to bark and slip my way across. So I am on a main side, main color row and I'm slipping and barking my way across this row. up to the last stitch that is indicated and it will be um, a stitch that is a slio whoops dropped my wrap on this so let me make sure i know where i am there we are okay so i bark this now this is the stitch that i need to make sure that i'm wrapping it is the um first body stitch there so i'm going to make sure that i give that a slio now basically that just means i'm throwing my yarn over the top okay um, but i want to make sure that i remember in my brain that this is actually a yarn over for that last contrast color stitch now this is the slip method. So because my yarn is on or my shawl is on one long set of needles in order to get back to the contrast color side, just like we did in the miter corner, I'm going to slip all of these stitches over to the left needle so that I can start again. It's not the most interesting technique, but it is kind of zen in its own special way. Let's see. These last two stitches always look funky for me. There we go. And slip. Now, contrast color. I slip with the yarn in front, and I'm going to burp and slip my way across. So this is now the main side, main color side, contrast color row. And I'm gonna go all the way up to, but not including the last stitch that I slipped in that main color. Okay. So I slio that last one. Really make sure that you are wrapping the yarn on that last slipped stitch. Now here I've got this last uh, CC stitch that I have the pretend yarn over on, right? That's just my loose yarn. And then I have my first body stitch here, which is actually a, a main color stitch with a contrast color wrap. And I'm going to go ahead and purl or burp all four of those strands together. So I've got the the last border stitch and the first body stitch and I'm burping those all together. Turn the work and the main color row here is as per usual but you really want to make sure that you are wrapping this first contrast color stitch and giving it its full yarn over. And then we burp and yarn over our way to the end. And again, um, on those main color sides, you're gonna be working some decreases and increases and bobbles. Um, and I am skipping all of that fun stuff just to show you this body stitch pickup technique. Okay. So now I'm at the end there, I purled that last stitch. Now because I'm doing the slip method, I need to slip all of those stitches back to the left needle.
and I'm going up to that last body stitch, which is gonna look funny. Um, and I can tell it's the last one because when I pull on my live yarn, this is the stitch that it's attached to. And this yarn over here looks weird because it's just a loop around that needle. Um, but it is exactly what it's supposed to be. So the first thing I wanna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and slip that stitch to the left needle. And then I'm also going to slip this first body stitch. Then I'm going to insert my needle knitwise into all three of those strands. So this is my main color yarn over, this is my first border stitch, and this is my first body stitch. And I'm going to bark all three of those together. And then you just work as per usual, all the way across to the end. This is a really pretty section of this blue yarn with all those little speckles in it. This yarn is Mitchell's Fiber Arts Singles in Starry Skies and Honey, and it is an absolutely gorgeous combination. Alrighty, so there we go. So I have picked up a couple of body stitches here, and you are going to continue that process all the way up the edge of your shawl um, until you get to the end. Now, this for me is the most tedious section of the shawl, um, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Just make sure to take your time and enjoy the process. And I will see you on social media. I would love to see your finished shawl, so be sure to tag me at the Emily Stamets on Instagram or Facebook.